Well, guys, as you can see, I'm sitting out in my car yet again. Seems to be my favorite place uh, these days to, to record my vlogs. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I am uh, in my car sitting out here waiting for my local movie theater to open because I'm going to see a movie today. If you want to know what movie I'm seeing and what's all going on, stick around because the Vocek experience starts right now. Welcome back to another video of the Vocek Experience, where idiots are still always us. Always me. You know, it's fun to be an idiot. I will say that. Um, but yes, I am here at the uh, the AMC Theater here in uh, Duncansville, Pennsylvania, which is like, what, 20 minutes from my house? Not that far. Um, and uh, I'm waiting out here until the doors open so I can go in and watch a movie. And what movie... You may ask, you probably already know the movie from the title of the video, because, you know, <laughs> uh, but in case uh, you don't remember or you didn't read it or, or whatever, you know, or if you just want to know what it is, uh, it's the brand new Japanese Godzilla movie called Godzilla Minus One. This is uh, Japan's first uh, Godzilla movie in years. Um, especially since lately we've been getting the, uh, the American Godzilla movies from Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures. Uh, but this one is, uh, fully Japanese. Toho Studios, the original studio that did the original Godzilla and all of the sequels, you know, up until now. <laughs> um, 70 some years of Godzilla movies. So I am waiting here anxiously to go in to see this movie. Um, I'm a huge, huge Godzilla fan. Anybody who really knows me well knows that I love a good Godzilla movie. Uh, especially the old ones from the 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, and even the 90s Japanese Godzilla movies where it was basically an actor in a suit. <laughs> Those are the best kind, in my opinion. But um, now I am not mocking the modern day American Godzilla movies with the CGI, you know, and all that stuff and all the big old special effects for those Godzilla movies, because I think that's awesome too, um, but uh, just to me, when you hear Godzilla, the first thing that comes to mind is the old, older movies, you know, with a guy in a suit, you know, and all those practical effects from back in the day, uh, and I believe that uh, this Godzilla movie even though it is a Japanese uh, Godzilla movie, it is not a, uh, a suitmation, is what they call it, uh, a Godzilla movie. Meaning, Godzilla in this movie, I believe, is a CGI Godzilla. Uh, judging from the trailers I've seen, it looks that way, but uh, I can't say for sure. Um, but I, I guess I'll know for sure here soon, because uh, I'm going to be going in to see it. Um, but, uh, but of course, uh, the second part of this video, um, is, um, uh, is going to be my thoughts and my reaction to the movie when it's done and over. So, uh, be waiting for that because, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot to say about this movie, especially since, like I said, I'm a huge fan. I love Godzilla. Who doesn't love a good Godzilla movie now and again? Um, hey, for all I know, when I get back home after this, I just may pop in some of the old Godzilla movies and watch that until I have to go to work tonight. So, you never know. 
Um, but anyway, um, my AMC app is like sending me like a crap ton of notifications for me to, uh, to go in and start getting my snacks and everything. Uh, so I guess I should go do that <laughs> so I can get in and hopefully, uh, get a good seat. Um, the, the only thing that I am really not really looking forward to for this Godzilla movie is the fact that, uh, it's going to be in all Japanese. It's not going to be dubbed in English, so there's going to be a, a ton of subtitles to read. And uh, sometimes I have to read slowly to kind of understand what's going on. And um, um, I just think that I just might miss a few things because of reading the subtitles. But, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Maybe it won't bother me as much. I don't know. But anyway, I better get in there and get my popcorn and my drink and get my ticket and my seat and everything before, you know... Before I can't go and do it anymore, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Godzilla minus one. Here we go. All right, guys. I just got my drink and my popcorn and my ticket there. So let's go find which theater it's in and find a seat. All right, guys. Found the auditorium where I'm supposed to be. And uh, so far, <laughs> there is absolutely no one here with me <laughs> now we still have about a half hour before the movie starts so for all i know i might get uh, a couple people here but uh i'm starting to think i might be the only godzilla fan around here i'm starting to think i might just might be the only person in this movie today holy crap <clears throat> anyway <laughs> oh, let's sit down and get comfy all right sitting down got my drink over here popcorns down there I'll go grab that here in a few but uh, yeah <laughs> nobody else in here um, we'll see how it goes uh, when it gets closer but uh, like I said I think I'm gonna be the only one in this movie oh well I mean <laughs> each their own I guess um, <sighs> but anyway let's get comfy and let's uh, get ready for uh, for the movie so uh, I will be back after the movie to let you know what I thought of the movie so uh, it'll only be a few seconds for you and about two and a half hours or give or take for me <laughs> so but anyway, yeah, I'll be back to let you know how it is. Well, guys, as you can see, I am back in my car again. So that means the movie's over. Um, and um, I will say, though, that um, it's about maybe five minutes before, you know, the preview started and stuff like that. Uh, some more people did trickle into the theater. So, um, so I wasn't completely alone, but, uh, there wasn't a whole, whole lot of people. I'd say maybe 15 people tops in that entire auditorium. Um, if that, I mean, there were some people, um, surprisingly enough, um, I didn't expect to see some, uh, some older, uh, people come in and, uh, and watch the movie. Uh, we're talking, they look like they were like in their 60s, maybe 70s. I was actually kind of surprised about that. Just for some reason, I can't fathom that somebody, you know, like that would come and watch a Godzilla movie. But hey, if Godzilla's your thing, it doesn't matter what age you are. But I was just a little surprised about that. Um, but, uh, but anyway, um, I will say that the movie actually surprised me. Um, it really did, considering that it is uh, a Japanese Godzilla movie. Um, it did surprise me. And yes, the Godzilla in this movie was indeed CGI. There was no suitmation, was no actor in a suit or anything like that. So I was pleasantly surprised, that, you know, that it was completely all CG. Um, there were a couple of scenes that looked like that maybe they were... Uh, like maybe a puppet or something on um, these really close-up scenes of like Godzilla's head but but don't quote me on that I could be wrong um but uh but Godzilla looked pretty 
pretty badass in this movie. I can say that. And, uh, and like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and, uh, the one thing that I was worried about, as I mentioned earlier, was that this movie was, um, was not English dubbed. It was subtitled. And I was worried that I was going to miss things because of reading subtitles. But surprisingly enough, I had no issue reading the subtitles and, you know, still paying attention to what was going on on screen. So that's a plus. Um, so I'm wondering once this movie comes out on DVD eventually, if it's going to be English dubbed or if it's going to still be just you know, Japanese with English subtitles. I don't know. But either way, it, when it comes out on DVD, I'm definitely buying it on Blu-ray. Uh, because um, it was a pretty dang good movie. Um, there were a lot of action scenes, uh, especially with Godzilla. Um and uh and uh, and some pretty good action scenes with the the human characters and uh and that's the one thing too I'll say about this movie is that not a lot of Japanese Godzilla movies that you know you start feeling for the the human characters because you know you think when you watch a Godzilla movie you're here to see a Godzilla you're here to see him destroy whatever he's destroying fight whatever monster he's fighting and you know and the human characters are just there and you know um but there was a lot of emotion that was coming out of the main character of this movie. And he did a really good job acting in this movie as well. Especially with the, you know, the emotions and the fear, you know, the sadness, the, um, the fear and the, um, you know, being shocked, you know, at seeing something like Godzilla, you know, this movie shocked me at some parts. Uh, some things happened that I was not expected to happen. Um, and, uh, and also this movie takes place not long after the end of World War II and how devastated Japan was after the war and after, you know, we dropped the, the bombs on them and everything. And, um, so th that's where the title of this movie comes from. If you're wondering, you know, what it means, Godzilla minus one. It means that Japan lost everything, you know, all the destruction and everything during World War II. And then right after the war is over, Godzilla shows up and, you know, completely decimates Japan even more. So while they lost everything and went down to zero to having nothing, then Godzilla shows up. So you're at minus one, if that makes sense. Uh, that's where we get the title from, and this movie takes place primarily, uh, in the, the mid to late 40s. So I was actually pretty surprised about that too. Um, I was thinking that uh, this was going to be more of, you know, a Godzilla movie taking place in modern times. But, uh, but it also reminded me a lot of the very first 1954 Godzilla movie in some parts. Um, just certain scenes were very, you know, reminiscent of scenes from that very first Godzilla movie. And I'm thinking that was probably done intentional, you know, just for like little Easter eggs and, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, there really is not a whole lot of bad I can really say about this movie. Uh, the pacing was good. Um, it was perfectly balanced, at least in my opinion, between, you know, the Godzilla stuff and the human stuff. Um, there's a nice little story, like a little love story in there as well, uh, which you don't really get in Godzilla movies from Japan. Actually, in any kind of Godzilla movie, for that matter, you don't get, you know, a love story of sorts. And this movie has that. Um, you really feel for the main character. And, uh, I would recommend this movie to anybody who'd want to come out to the theater and see it. Um, and, and if you don't get to the theater to see it, I would also recommend it that when it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray or, 
you know, 4K HD or whatever the format, I would definitely recommend you buy it. Um, when it comes out on streaming services, I would recommend you stream it. I mean, it's, it definitely blew my mind and, uh, and in my opinion, a whole lot better than Shin Godzilla that came out, uh, a number of years ago, um, which was the last, uh, Godzilla movie that Japan did before, uh, the American Godzilla movies started coming out. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, it doesn't have to be your opinion. This is just me speaking as, as me, my thoughts and how I perceived the movie and, you know, just pretty much my opinion, <laughs> you, you know, so my opinion isn't necessarily going to be everybody's opinion. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some people that are like, ah, I don't really like that one or, you know, or whatever, but you know, it's all in how you look at it and it's all in, you know, what you like to see out of Godzilla movies. And this Godzilla movie was definitely, uh, pretty, it's pretty up there on my list of movies that I will watch. Um, because I do like every so often I do pop in a Godzilla movie and watch it. I've seen, you know, probably all of them at least 50 if not 100 times or even more than that in some movies so uh, and of course once this one comes out i'll definitely be adding it to my collection and uh and it will be one of my go-to godzilla movies for me so so yeah that's kind of my take on the movie um i thoroughly enjoyed it um oh and the one thing too i will say Yes, they do play the classic Godzilla theme music in this movie, and it got my heart pumping and just made me all giddy and excited, you know, because that kind of music is just iconic to any Godzilla fan, so... But yeah, that's my take on Godzilla Minus One. Um, if anybody out there has seen it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions about it uh, in the comments. Um, if you want to ask me questions about it, go ahead. But I'm not going to give away the plot. I'm not going to give away a whole lot of spoilers or anything like that. So if you really want to know what's all going on in this movie, go see it. I mean... It's a fun movie to see with, you know, with the kids and and everything. Great movie to introduce them to Godzilla with, you know, if they're not already familiar with Godzilla. But, yeah, I would love to hear from y'all on it. and uh, Or even if you would just want to talk about your favorite Godzilla movies in general. Um, I'd be glad to talk to you about it in the comments. Uh, but uh, with all that being said... Um, it is now getting late in the afternoon. I don't know if you can really, you probably can't tell from the video, but, uh, the sun is definitely starting to go down. You gotta love it that the sun goes down early in the, you know, during the day now. Cause it's winter and all that good stuff. So, so I better get my butt home. Um, so I can pretty much edit this video and, get it all put together and get it uploaded to YouTube for you guys. Um, and so I can relax a little bit and, and everything before I have to go to work at midnight tonight. So, uh, but as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And, uh, and if you want to support this dumb little channel of mine, uh, hit that join button, come over the Idiot Squad, because we'd love to have you. Um, you can follow me on all the major social medias, and you can also check out the merch store if you'd like. All those links, they're all down below, uh, so uh, you can find me pretty much everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I had a really fun day uh, with this Godzilla movie. Um, it was well worth, uh, spending the money for the ticket. Um, and, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it again, <laughs> but, I, but right now I kind of don't have the money to just go buy another ticket and, you know, go see it again. But who knows? Maybe in the next week or two, uh, after payday, maybe I'll get another ticket and go see it again. I don't know. 
We'll see. Uh, but anyways, um, I hope you're all having a good day, good night, good week, whatever the case is when you're watching this. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. So until then, bye for now.